Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivas. I am the Carb Addiction Doc on social media, YouTube. Um, follow me, subscribe to the channel, like the channel. Uh, however, today I'm going to talk about probably one of the single most important events in metabolic health over the last 20 years. The single most important event uh, from a monitoring and a measurable perspective, in my opinion, was the invention of CGM's continuous glucose monitors. And I am a metabolic health specialist. It's a new emerging specialty. Um, I have surgical degrees. I have medical degrees. But I have become a metabolic health specialist because this is the commonest cause of death in this country. Metabolic health that is primarily related to something called insulin resistance. Now we can explore that. But the single in my opinion, most important invention as a monitoring device for us is something called a continuous glucose monitor, which tells us our blood sugar every five minutes or every 15 minutes. And it directly basically measures our level of insulin resistance. It gives us feedback. And the invention that I'm talking about or the release that I'm talking about right now is a device called Stello, S-T-E-L-O, produced by Dexcom. It hasn't been released yet. It's about to be released late August, early September. I also don't know what the price point is. But no matter what, I am going to strongly, strongly recommend that you at least wear this once or twice or every now and then. Do you need to wear it continuously? Probably not unless you're on big medications for diabetes. But other than that, no. But here's the way I would like you to see the value of Stella. Number one, they may talk about diabetes, they may talk about other things, but really what Stello does is it gives you direct feedback, direct biologic feedback of your level of insulin resistance. And it's immediate. It tells you right away how your body is responding from a hormonal and inflammatory and a blood sugar perspective. So what Stello does is it measures your blood sugar every 15 minutes, whether you're asleep, whether you're exercising, no matter what you're doing, which you cannot do with a finger stick. You can measure it from time to time with a finger stick, but a finger stick involves adrenaline, you have to be awake for it, and it's episodic. And the problem with finger sticks is, what is your blood sugar when you don't know, when you're not checking it? Stello checks it all the time. And I think the key things for me about the Stello device is number one, if you are interested in your own health, the biofeedback, Biofeedback. What does biofeedback mean? You do something and it tells you what that doing of something did to you. It tells you generally what your current metabolic state is, particularly with regards to your blood sugar levels, which are the most pro-inflammatory in the current era, especially if you don't use nicotine. But also it tells you how your body responds to elevated blood sugar. So if you're eating a bunch of sugar and starch, it'll tell you right away what that food did to your bloodstream. And it'll tell you not only how quickly and how high that rises, but it'll also tell you over time how your, blood, uh, how your blood sugar is affected. So for example, if you drink a Coke or some orange juice, you see a massive spike in your blood sugar, which is important to understand. But you also want to see how quickly your body corrects that. If that blood sugar goes up and stays up, or if it started high and then goes up, Beyond that, that is very problematic. But let's say you just eat a big ribeye steak, a lot of fat, a lot of meat. Don't mind what you think about that. Your blood sugar may not rise right away, but three, four hours down the road, you may see a rise in your blood sugar from the protein being converted to sugar. That's where Stello comes in, because you're going to miss that on a finger stick. Stello is going to promote, it has to promote, a low-carbohydrate way of life. Because if you associate elevated blood sugar and spikes in your blood sugar with disease and in the entirety of metabolic health revolves around insulin resistance, how your body handles sugar, how quickly it gets cleared, how it goes up and what that hormonal system does. And that's a much, much more detailed uh, discussion, which we can do. It's done on this channel, but we can do it some other time. But ultimately, that defines metabolic health. There are a few other things, but that's the dominant cause of health and, and disease. So 
Automatically, when you see a significant spike in your blood sugar, when you eat anything that is high in carbohydrates, whether it's a sugar, whether it's a starch, whether it's natural or manufactured, intellectually, you're going to look at that and say, hey, I'm not going to do that anymore because that's causing me harm. So the key thing that you want to understand is that both spikes and chronic elevation on a regular basis of blood sugar causes harm. And Stella will help you to modify your diet and modify your meal frequency to lower your, your consumption of carbohydrates to flatten those spikes and to flatten or reduce your average blood sugars. And the beauty about Stella is something called the Clarity app. It'll show you what your average blood sugars are over time. Remember, metabolic health, 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 health is the word we're talking about. Health is associated primarily in this country right now with blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivis. As you know, I'm the carb addiction doc and I love my coffee. But one of the concerns with coffee that I've been exploring is the caffeine associated with adrenaline hormone and elevated levels of stress that now require high, higher cortisol. So I went back to my home country and in South Africa, they produce this stuff. It's called Kingfisher rooibos teas, Kingfisher teas. And this takes me back to when I was a young kid and my mother always, always had a pot of rooibos tea. Now, rooibos tea contains no caffeine, has a lot of anti-inflammatory agents built into it. It comes from a natural little bush. It's a tiny leaf that occurs naturally in the Karoo area, semi-desert in South Africa, organic, very low in tannin, no calories, and tastes absolutely fantastic. You can drink as much of it as you want to. You're not going to pee excessively like you do with caffeine. And this is what I'm switching to. It is so good, hot or cold. And even my young son, Rian, who doesn't drink coffee, is drinking this. Try it and see. Now, if you have certain health issues, if you're trying to lose weight, Knowing what your blood sugars are doing is going to make a big difference in terms of your acceleration of weight loss. Whether you're on a ketogenic diet or not, modifying your consumption of sugar is going to positively impact your, uh, um, your weight. And in particular, if you're one of those millions of people that are using a GLP-1 agonist, Ozempic, Manjaro, in, everybody knows what those are. For whatever reason, pre predominantly for weight loss or for diabetes, Stello is going to help you specifically to see how effectively the GLP-1s are working and also protect you from reactive hypoglycemia or going having low blood sugar, which is miserable. And if you have nausea, if you have gastric retention, if you have reflux, if you have bowel changes, that's not related. That's not a complication of GLP-1. That's a complication of your diet, including muscle wasting. And Stella will tell you what's going on so you can modify your diet so that you and the GLP-1 work positively together rather than at loggerheads to each other. But if all you're eating is Oreo cookies, Stella's going to tell you that's not a good thing. Even though you're losing weight in the GLP-1, it is going to be unsustainable once you come off the GLP-1. So GLP-1 monitoring, I believe, at least a few times during your course of GLP-1, the Stello is going to make a massive difference toward your behavioral change. And if you make that behavioral change, the effect of the GLP-1s is going to be much, much more permanent because you're not going to have the rebound because you didn't make those behavioral changes. You didn't address why you gained the weight in the first place. Stella will help you to do that. In addition, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, whether you're on insulin or not, Ideal on insulin, you should be on a, a Dexcom G7, a more sophisticated model. But even Stella will help you. Because if you're diabetic, it'll tell you what's happening to your blood sugars all the time. And it helps you to manage your diabetes with medication. And if your medications are too powerful and your blood sugar goes too low, you don't know that unless you're monitoring it. it may go low in the middle of the night like mine often does. 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I may see a blood sugar of 47, 48. I want to know that. But if you're not wearing a device, nothing is going to tell you what your blood sugars are in the middle of the night. So diabetes management, and eventually, yes, absolutely, we do this all the time in my practice, you can get type 2 diabetes into remission, and you can get type 1 diabetes, irrespective of the cause, to the point where you radically lower your risk of 
health associated diseases associated with type 1 diabetes. We call those diabetic comorbidities. You should be able to live a completely normal life in terms of health risk as a type 1 if you manage your blood sugar. But if you're pregnant, one of the common complications of pregnancy is gestational diabetes. Well, Stello helps you to make massive changes from a diabetic perspective and manage the pregnancy so that you are at low risk of having complications, you're at low risk of fetal death. There's between a 17 and a 20% increased risk of fetal death with diabetes. And if you can use Stella to manage that, that makes all the difference in the world. If you're exercising, if you are an athlete, but you don't know what your energy demands are, you wanna know, at what stage do I start to run out of energy? Well, the interesting thing is, when you bunk, when you're getting ready to hit that wall, your blood sugars will go screaming up. And you can predict when that's going to happen. And that may be the consumption of more food while you're training. It may be slowing the pace down so your body can catch up. But Stella will tell you directly, as your blood sugar rises, hey dude, you're starting to run out of energy here. You're hitting that level. And if you love to really stress yourself, if you love to go beyond your own boundaries, Stella will tell you exactly when that is. Hmm, interesting, huh? So, from sport, from pregnancy, from a cardiovascular perspective, if your blood sugars are elevated all the time, you can use Stello to help you to bring those levels down. And it's not necessarily about cholesterol, it's about blood sugar. So in metabolic health, we're dealing with so many different things. If you're a young woman who's got PCOS, what do they use treat for PCOS with? Metformin and GLP-1s. Well, Stello is going to be a great device to help you to manage your PCOS. Just make sure you're on birth control if you don't want to have a baby. But it, it reduces your risk of infertility. If you're in an infertility program, Stella is going to be a great monitoring device because the commonest cause of infertility is PCOS. It's going to help you in that regard. If you've got acid reflux and heartburn, Stella will tell you exactly when you're about to have an attack because your blood sugar goes up. Hmm, interesting, huh? Interesting. So Stella will tell you if you can keep your blood sugars down by not consuming those things, your reflux gets better, your LPR gets better, your irritable bowel gets better. This device is a game changer. But we've got to escape from using CGMs just in the diabetes space to using it for metabolic health and to optimize our health and to recognize with biofeedback when we're in trouble and when we're doing well. So in my opinion, from a monitoring device perspective, the CGMs that we used for diabetes were the number one biggest invention. But now opening this to, this, to, the, this to the public, where you can buy it over the counter. You can buy it over the counter. You don't need a doctor. You can pick and choose when you use it. You don't have to use it all the time. But use it from time to time. You're going on a vacation. You're going on a cruise. Well, Use Stello on the cruise to tell you when you hit the back of that buffet line, hey, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But there's always really good food to eat on the cruise. Why not stick with the good food instead of the crystal meth? That's what I call carbohydrates. So this device has versatility. It has tremendous use. But understand what it does. Understand how to use it. And that biofeedback is going to make you a healthier, happier human being. I cannot, I cannot be more evangelical about this device in the healthcare space. Because the commonest disease that you are going to die from are diseases you cause to yourself by your way of life. And Stello is a monitoring device for what you do to yourself. So you don't live in that oblivion. I am the carb addiction doc. This is what it's about. It's coming. It'll be there next month.